Okay guys, so this video is uh, pertaining to the climate change project that uh, you will be working uh, on for the next uh, couple of uh, class period. Uh, so today uh, is uh, Wednesday the 22nd, this, is, this project is a piggyback on what will be on uh, Monday, the lecture on Monday pertaining to global climate change. Okay, so uh, your task is to actually look for uh, a specific topic that you would like to uh, work on and present, obviously. I give you some ideas here. These are very generic. Okay? If you're going to choose any of these, it has to be very specific. For example, if you want to work on sea level rise, anything about sea level rise, not just sea level rise in general. Okay? For example, the effects of sea level rise on uh, Venice, Italy, on Miami Beach, or, uh, or how sea level rise affects uh, wildlife, for example, how the sea level rise affecting uh, nesting grounds of, of a specific bird species or a specific species of sea turtle, or a sea level rise is, is affecting a specific coral uh, ecosystem like a wetland, or, or what specific wetland, or what specific coral you can choose sea level rise, but you can also choose uh, aspects of uh, water security. For example, if water is not available in certain areas in the world, uh, what specific area, what's happening, and so forth. The same with food as an effect of uh, global climate change, what specific area, what population, and so forth. And national security is the one that I don't expect uh, too much of this. It's borderline uh, politics in a, in a, in a way. Because it could be uh, misused as uh, an excuse to uh, basically uh, take your resources around the world or close uh, boundaries. So it could be as used as an excuse for a different agenda. But uh, it's up to you if you guys want to give it a twist towards us, uh, global climate change. It's up to you guys. Uh, anything pertaining wildlife, I gave you a couple of examples, but any other specific species of plant or animal that is being affected directly by global climate change. It could be indirectly, but you have to be specific. And any ecosystems that are being affected. Well, we talk about uh, sea level rise affecting ecosystems, but also could be higher uh, water temperatures affecting coral reefs. Why specific coral reefs or, how, or specific uh, forests that are burning off more often or forests that are being affected by uh, parasites and so forth as a result of global climate change. So, all these topics have the potential to give you something specific. So if you want, unless you want to bring your own topic to the table, it's perfect. But it has to be specific, nothing too wide. These are very wide topics. I want something that has to do uh, with a specific topic, OK? Very specific. Uh, so you're going to prepare a PowerPoint presentation, which you're going to be loading into the Google uh, Classroom. I haven't set the, the folder yet. But uh, the, the due dates are coming up. It is constant. Okay, uh, six slides minimum. Those are all informational. That, of course, you need to add a title and the bibliography slides. Those are two more, but informational minimum six slides. Okay, that should include, of course, charts and uh, photos and uh, tables, etc., etc., whatever you want to include there. Okay. Uh, obviously, there's going to be an oral presentation component via Zoom. I will let you know exactly when we're going to be presenting. It's going to be the same manner as we did, uh, we presented our energy project. Okay? Group size is going to be maximum of three, no more than that. Uh, if you, uh, it could be you can work by yourself in pairs or groups of three. If there's uh, any other, if you have a special request, please let me know. Okay? Uh, other than that, uh, that's pretty much everything I have for today. Uh, I will be setting up a submission folder for several different things. Now, on Friday, Friday, that will be today, the 22nd, and uh, the 24th, if I'm wrong, right? we have our, our official every Friday Zoom session. We will discuss a topic, so please come ready to the meeting with uh, your group members and your specific topics. I would like to discuss those, and I will tell you yay or nay if the topic is acceptable or you need to make any revisions on your topic. Okay, having said that, um, I hope uh, this is clear. If you have any questions, please, you know, how to uh, 
contact me in my day school email. You can also contact me via Remind and or contact me via uh, Google Classroom. All right, guys? So have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye.